Build your own custom Mini ITX computer. Today I am upgrading my Mini ITX computer with an acrylic panel and a colorful fan for much needed ventilation. A Cooler Master MF140 Halo with addressable Gen 2 RGB. Start with a piece of acrylic. Mine is clear and frosted, 12 inches by 12 inches. I'm going to cut it to seven and a half by 10 and a quarter to fit the DIY PC case I made in my last video. This panel needs a cutout for the fan. Mark the center of the cutout. The compass works well to create a near perfect circle. I marked it in the wrong spot. Now is a good time to figure it out and correct. The acrylic needs to be scored on both sides. Lay it on top of a straight edge. Apply pressure and... A little scary the first time you do it, but look how straight the cut is. Width is done, now the length. I score each side a couple times. Line it up with the straight edge. The edge is really straight. To start the fan cut out, drill a hole. Slide in the coping saw. It cuts pretty easy. The hole is rough. I will smooth the edge with some coarse sandpaper. First, sand perpendicular to the cut, sand up to the line of the circle. Then sand with the arc of the circle. Use some fine sandpaper to finish it off. The snapped edges are straight and sharp and need to be sanded. I am marking through holes to mount the acrylic fan panel to the computer case. The center punch works great on acrylic. I tested it out on a scrap piece first. I will drill pilot holes in each corner of the panel, four of them. Now I need a drill bit large enough to fit a number six screw. A flat head machine screw with 632 threads. I pushed too hard with the drill and had some blowout. I need to be more careful. The screw fits. Now to make it lay flush. The three-in-one countersink. It fits good now. I need four threaded holes in the aluminum rails to mount the acrylic panel. Marking the case. Things are really going great. Oops. Try again. There we go, much better. Now it's time to remove the aluminum rails and put in some threads. See how I made this custom mini ITX computer with these aluminum rails? The backbone of this DIY PC case. Watch the full build, just click on the link at the end of this video. Here it is, the Cooler Master Master Fan MF140 Halo with addressable Gen 2 RGB. This is different from regular RGB because each light is controlled independently from the rest. An amazing range of color combinations are possible. Mounting screws. I love my center punch, but it's not long enough to fit through the fan's mounting holes. This nail with tape wrapped around it will self-center nicely. First, drill pilot hole. Then, progressively larger drill bits. Aw, snap! That did not feel good. 
Just to be safe, I will use a file to make the holes a little bigger to accommodate the fan mounting screws. The big reveal. Time to remove the protective film. How does it look? It looks pretty good. What's this? Oh, just a little tape. I like the way it looks. Can't wait to light it up. Time to attach the fan to the acrylic fan panel with the mounting screws. Assembling the panel to the DIY PC case requires tucking in the wires and installing four screws. This DIY PC features a mini ITX format ASUS H470i gaming motherboard. If you want to know more details, check out my build video. There are two important motherboard connections. The four pin pulse width modulation fan controller and a three pin five volt ARGB plug. Check if your motherboard has the ARGB port if you want to use this fan. Take a look at that. It looks really great. The acrylic looks sharp and shiny. I love the way you can see through the cover. The aluminum rails and stainless screws add a nice touch. Light it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love sharing my projects. Click like to show me you enjoy them as well. If you have any comments about this build or an idea for a future project, let me know in the comments.